Hi YouTube viewers, this is Planet Adobo once again and as promised, this is the installation video of uh, the Lancer Systems SIG 516 carbon fiber replacement handguard. Uh, it's the extended version and I'll show you step by step on how to correctly install it because there are videos circulating around that it's not quite the proper way how to install it first of all safety is paramount to gun handling and i just want to make it clear to everybody that there's no live rounds or live ammunitions around during the entire process of this video and we consider all weapons uh, loaded until we have actually uh, checked it by a series of steps on how to check it and this is there's no magazine in here let's inspect the chamber you can put your finger over there so that to check whether there's really no uh, rounds inside and what I do is lock the chamber I'm gonna get open so that you could actually take time to to inspect inside and there's nothing in there then we can drop the the charging handle and then dry fire and now we are sure that this uh, rifle is safe to handle the first step in uh, Installing the Lancer System SIG 516 replacement handguard is to actually remove the old handguard of the SIG 516 rifle. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six screws that we can take. But before we do that, we have to take the, the Magpul Picatinny rail cover over here and all right I need to take actually take out the screws Four screws over here and one more. Yeah. And 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 after removing the screws, we can just actually take it off like that. Okay. That's the bottom part, and and this is the higher part. And it's exposing the rifle's uh, gas piston. So the Lancer Systems SIG 516 replacement handguard the extended version comes with uh, this clear packaging. I already uh, opened it. It's in the unboxing video previously. And the content of the package is there's a one upper receiver extension, one bottom retaining nut, this carbon fiber handguard tube, of course. The uh, Allen wrench and six uh, flathead screws. And it comes with this 10 by 32 socket head cup screws also. And uh, there are a couple of items over here that's uh, actually coming from the uh, old handguard. 
and this bushing we have to take that one we're gonna use it this lug over here lug nut is we're gonna use that and the flathead screws okay. and uh, let me show you where I got those things. Uh, I, I don't think you can you can you can miss it when 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 you're removing your old uh, handguard from Sig 516 uh, rifle. So it comes like this over here. The lock is placed like this, and then and this bushing is actually situated over here, and it's. Uh, Secured by this flathead screws two flathead screws. So we take that one. We're gonna use that The first thing we need to do is attach the upper extension receiver there's a lip over here that goes to the groove on top of the rail over here on the rifle and then you put it like this and it sits like like this okay and then flip the rifle around put the lug that came from the old handguard you put it over here I don't know if you can see there's a there's a extension over here that goes to the groove of the barrel over here so that's where we're gonna put the extension lug like that and then attach the bottom retaining nut over here at the bottom and should go like that like that comes like attach okay like that okay and then remember those 10 uh, by 32 screws I'm gonna put it over here one two three four one two three four and goes like here Screw it in like that. So four screws, ten by thirty-two screws goes over here. I want to show you so that it's easier to follow. Like that. The other one goes over here. Yep. And then the other one again. Last one goes over here. Then remember that uh, bushing I told you that came from the old handguard. This is where it sits. So the bushing, this sits over here. Just follow whatever the you see these bushings over here that came with with the Lancer system replacement handguard. So just follow the grooves of just follow the design. It's it has a curve so it goes upwards. So it goes like that. Hold on, let me set this up a little bit. And then remember those flathead screws from the old handbar? You put it over here. Okay. And Allen wrench again. show you so that it's easier to follow and uh, everything that I do for now is not thread locked but I, it's, I strongly advise you to put the thread locker on all screws that you put in a gun because of the vibration and jarring it will fly off from your gun so you better put thread locker don't put those permanent ones of course like that okay it's like that so half of the job is done and now the extension tube 
this is the carbon fiber tube there's if you can see it from 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 that angle i don't know there is this lip over here that runs all the way through the length of the the upper receiver extension goes over here that's where the edge of your carbon fiber goes so it goes like here and you can you can actually tag a little bit of the carbon fiber and just insert it slowly over here and if you did it right it should go in without a hitch like that and remember those 60 screws that I I told you this is where they go one two three four five six let me show you uh, you can follow it properly one two three four five six okay and it goes here Okay, screw it in. Screw it in more. This is the proper way how to install this launcher. 516 handguard. Uh, there's a video that's uh, kind of I watched before. It's it's not it's not the proper way to do it. So this is the proper way. This is uh is from how launcher system is actually instructed us to do from their instruction manual that's found in their website. Oh, lantersystems.com and all goes over here like this so all the screws are all in like that oh and that's how you properly install the Lancer system sig 516 replacement handguard uh, it's a carbon fiber extended version and it looks cool and I have a lot of uh, things in mind to modify and upgrade this AR so I'm gonna keep on making videos about it and those SIG 516 fans here it is this is probably one of the best or the coolest upgrade you could do to your SIG 516 this is uh, Planet Adobo once again, and uh, if you like my videos, could uh, please like it or subscribe. Follow me on my Facebook and Twitter account. Aloha.